lovely people you welcome to let's talk it with aunt Ella. in today's episode we'll be discussing some ideas that parents and children can engage in at home kindly leave your comments in the comment section like and share thank you fine and gross motor skills development this involves the building of the smaller and larger muscles in an individual's body Every physical activity is important from infancy through to early childhood and adulthood. Our gross and large muscles are our hands, our legs, and our torso. Our torso being from our neck down to our groin or our thighs. Between the ages of 2 to 5 years, kids are active and they would like to engage in any activity an adult or a caregiver partakes in. This include sweeping, cleaning, washing of dishes and clothes, laying of beds, mobbing, and doing other stuff. Depending on their capabilities and personality, whenever the caregiver is taking that activity or action and it's on a lower ground, for instance, washing in bowls, then the child wants to do it. Please pave way or allow the child to do it. Despite he or she may be wetting him or herself and delaying the caregiver, Give them the room to partake in these activities so they develop their fine muscles and would get to observe the routines, partake in it the next time you are around or not or help. They will be able to explore and experiment. If this goes on constantly for a while, the child may voluntarily take up some activities even without the help of an adult. For instance, there is water being poured on the floor and this child has seen you mob or has mobbed with you over a while, he or she will just get a mop stick or rag and just wipe the water from that place. Another activity may be fetching of water. In Ghana, there are so many sources of water. This may be the well, the tap, the stream, the boreholes, depending on where the family is located or resides. Kids cannot cook, but they can observe and later practice with their friends or siblings. When they are in the kitchen, let's not suck them or push them away, but rather engage them in little activities so they are able to know and understand what goes on in the kitchen and then see some fruits and vegetables and other things that can be used in the kitchen. Know their names, how they look, how they feel if possible. Whenever a child is in your workspace or in a space where you are engaged in an activity, Please teach them things around, maybe equipment that are harmful and not, and the uses of those equipment, so that they know that when I take a knife, a knife can cut me, and when it cuts me, I will be hurt, and blood may flow, or blood will flow, and I'll be sent to the hospital. When he or she gets to understand that this is a sharp object, when they see it, they may not go to it and play with it or they get it and bring it to an adult and say please keep this away from us because it is harmful so they walking in and out and you having conversations with them also help them to continue activating their brain speech development their hands and every part of their body because they will have to move their body in order to do things and if there is any problem you will notice maybe that's not how the child used to walk and then you see that, oh, this child is limping. Or the child was supposed to pick something and didn't hold it well. Maybe the finger is hurting. And the child hasn't spoken. When you have this kind of conversations with them, they come around and open up. Then you get to know what's going on with them. Having to play games with your kids help to develop their skills such as body awareness and balancing speed development and strength games like ludo or wari jumping off rope hopscotch ampe football bike racing hide and seek and with the hide and seek can you spell out the instructions or rules in it so that kids don't end up locking themselves up in rooms or going into cars that are open just to hide and have fun all these and more help the kids to solve problems at home and anywhere they may find themselves 
they always want to win and may get upset if another person wins so please make them understand that it is not the end of their life or their race or whatever it is they are doing to fail but when they keep trying and trying they will get at it and win one day they should appreciate the winner and not feel bad the person has won so when they appreciate the winner they will keep trying at it next time and they will also be winners and we will applaud them and praise them now let's note that all play and no work makes jack a dull boy and all work and no play makes your child a lazy child so let's blend these activities think small play small learn small have fun with the kids parents guardians adults please engage yourself in anything the kids are doing even if it's watching of television sit with them watch with them discuss it and have fun with them that makes them develop faster thank you for watching see you soon in the next video bye